Hello, Little Mouse, Chapter 18, a Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction written and narrated by Mira Rose. Artwork by Candy Fluffs on Instagram. You can find a link to her and her store in the description box. It is raining and I can hear it in the studio, so you might hear that in the recording. Now then, if you haven't already, smash that like button and leave a comment. If you don't know what to comment, put rainy day. If you haven't heard the previous 17 parts, they are linked in the description box. Now then, please enjoy Hello Little Mouse, Chapter 18. Cat Noir, on the third month anniversary with his girlfriend. Ah, bliss. Truthfully, Cat Noir couldn't say if he'd ever been happier than these last three months. His friends figured out Adrian and Marinette were dating soon enough, but their superhero side spoke nothing of their rendezvous to see each other when his father found out. There were some negatives, of course, of spending so much time with Marinette. He and Ladybug were growing apart. Part of it made sense, but another part of him was lonesome for her. Despite his happiness with his beloved girlfriend, Cat Noir missed his partner. He missed his partner, but at least he had Marinette, and Ladybug had Rena Rouge. It was almost a natural transition, but he wasn't quite ready for it. He wasn't ready to not flirt with Ladybug. Cat Noir didn't know how to not flirt with Ladybug, in fact, but he did his best. She and Marinette were the two most precious people in his life now, after all. Despite it all, Cat Noir was happy. So happy, in fact, that what he heard his father say to Natalie this morning didn't faze him. His father wanted him and Marinette to break up. Okay, fine. Little did he know they were superheroes. Multi Mouse landed on the roof across from him, not making eye contact. It seems Natalie spoke to her. Okay, time to talk this out. Nothing to worry about because, well, they were in love, right? Love conquers all. Oh, how he wished he could launch his plan into her brain, because her weary face and pink eyes did nothing good to his heart. Come here, he said, bringing her to his chest. Cat, Multi Mouse rasped. She'd already cried over this. She'd cried, and he hadn't been able to warn her. Cat, we should... She looked away. I'm not breaking up with you. Cat settled his hands on his hips, not wanting to keep his arms suspended in air. Huh? Snot fell from her nose as her mouth hung open, and she quickly covered her face with her hands. Natalie talked to you? Um, yeah. Cool. He shook his head. My dad's like an American outlet. I'm sorry? He grinned as he watched her confusion develop. Not useful to us here. Cat stepped toward her, wrapping his arms around her. He said no to Adrian and Marinette, right? That's... Her voice cracked, and she tried pushing him away. So, like, fine, we break up. But I think it'd be pretty cool if Cat Noir and Multi Mouse dated, you know? Multi Mouse stilled in his arms. Huh? He stepped back, running his hands to her shoulders, then cradling her jawline. Will you date me, Multi Mouse? She didn't say anything, tears welling as she closed the distance between their lips. Like the moment, he found it bitter and sweet. You're something else, Cat Noir, she rasped. They laughed, two different timbres. Did they tell you why they wanted us to break up? Her face twisted again, and she stumbled over words. I idled uh, sales. Hmm. He pursed his lips and looked past her, pulling her to his chest. He's a bully. Your father? Yeah. Adrian, you know I'm right. He felt her fingers curl on his back. He's your father. 
Yeah, that's how I used to rationalize it, too. Before he started spending his nights with Tom and Sabine. Cat, want to get ice cream? Huh? Multimouse stepped back, eyes still pink, but without the storm from a few minutes prior. Isn't that what you're supposed to do after a breakup? Get ice cream and watch romance? Alia thinks it should be horror, so you can scare out all the, the unpleasant emotions, she sniffed. Huh. V had a deep-seated fear of horror. Um, uh, I'm not saying she's wrong, but, um, uh, pass. Yeah. Multimouse nodded, the first smile he'd seen today breaking through. Pass. Shall we? He offered his palm, and her smile slipped into a grin. When they had to move as Multimouse and Cat Noir, she'd make herself smaller and ride on his shoulder, holding onto his hair for support. We shall. But are we buying ice cream, or is there still some left at? Tiki found it. Her words tickled his ear. Tiki? He felt a small breath against his neck. A ladybug, um, when she dropped off the miraculous for me, because, you know, I'm sharing it with... Mylene, he finished. It would make sense that the Kwame needed a free charge. But did that mean Marinette knew who Ladybug was? Well, that's a depressant for the night. Now he wanted ice cream in a bad romance movie for a different reason. It felt like he'd just gotten rejected instead of saving his relationship. Yeah, she whispered. Mylene. Cool. Cookies instead? Yeah, cookies sound great. Make them together? Um, sure. Cat and mouse, back at it again. Checking to make sure his little girlfriend was secure on his shoulder, Cat Noir took off for the bakery, emotions rising in his chest like a forgotten batch of dough on the kitchen counter. No. This was something they needed together, a sweet treat for both of them to enjoy. Nothing was wrong. He wasn't jealous. The world would think Adrian and Marinette broke up, but Cat and Mouse would date. He wasn't spoiled over the possibility of Marinette knowing Ladybug's identity before he did. Nothing was wrong. Their relationship was rising together, like a bundle of dough. Cat Noir wouldn't let this batch of emotions become sourdough. Thank you so much for listening. Chapter 19 is on the way. In the meantime, you can check out these other videos for more fanfiction, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! If you're still listening, comment to sourdough.